Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here back with your daily crypto content. I hope everybody is having a great day or a great night wherever you guys are. Um, before we jump into this video, I just want to let you guys know that everything is still looking pretty good in terms of the overall market. But before we jump into it, I just want to let you guys know that we are still having our buy one, get one 50% off sale on our crypto posters. Links will be down in the description below as well as in the comments below. You guys have a little bit more time to get those while they are on sale. So with that being said, let's just address the overall market. Currently, it is up about 1.08%, sitting at about a $1.92 trillion market cap. Nothing too crazy in terms of that. Now, I do also want to talk a little bit about HBAR, as this is one of our mainly, I would say, pretty much the only asset that I really talk about on this channel, opposed from uh, the typical, you know, few that I talk about, you know, XRP, XDC, QNT, ALBT, and a few other ones. Um, but HBAR is one of those assets that are significantly undervalued. If we come down here to, it's in the 50s, I know that it's always in the 50s until it's not. Um, it's sitting at number 58, down about 1.41%, um, down about 1.77%. And I'll tell you guys what. It has been raining for the last couple days where I live. Um, it's been raining for about five days now in a row. And honestly, I'm not going to let the weather get me down when I'm stacking my bag even more on HBAR. Um, I continue to look at the upside potential on HBAR. And I'm telling you guys right now, we are still sitting at about 2x of our um, all-time high. So, you know, a 2x from here will take us to the all-time high. After that, it's price discovery, and who knows where we will go. I honestly think that HBAR is going to be um, one of my many 100x assets in the space that I'm holding right now because I do hold a lot of minimal market cap assets as well. And HBAR is one of those assets at a 9.3 billion circulating supply. It has a lot of room to run, especially when we look at the top 10. And there's a lot of assets in the billions that are in the top 10 at a massive price evaluation. For an example, ADA sitting at about a $68.3 billion market cap. So, we are going to talk about some significant price targets for HBAR and how we do get there, as well as what is happening in the overall market in regards to HBAR. So with that being said, I do want to talk to you guys, and I actually want to ask you guys a question. For anybody who is watching this video, what is your most undervalued gem that you are currently holding in your overall portfolio? In my opinion, I would have to say HBAR, um, as it is extremely undervalued at these current prices. And I am not the only one who believes that. Crypto Bull God, uh, God sorry. Um, shout out to him. If you guys don't follow him, you guys definitely should. Incredible individual. And he does have great YouTube content as well. So subscribe to his YouTube channel. But he says, most undervalued crypto in my portfolio without question is HBAR. And I do have to say, um, and he's even saying, you know, $2 billion market cap is laughable. And it definitely is. Um, especially when we compare it to most assets that are kind of doing the same thing. Um, earlier today, I did live stream and I did talk about how many transactions we are at, currently at almost 1.6 billion. And this number continues to go up day by day. Just check this out, right? We're at 630,869 transactions at the end of this. Um, so let me just refresh it, just to make sure everything is updated live. Um, and right there, we just jumped another thousand transactions in that little bit of time. So um, in my opinion, we are going to be moving very fast. We are up about 14.5% almost on the daily transactions, sitting at about 3.851 million transactions on the daily, which is absolutely crazy when we compare it to ADA that has about 8 million transactions total in the last four years. It's just crazy to me how undervalued this gem actually is. Um, so I do want to talk to you guys a little bit about what happened today with YPRO. So we do see here, considering the above factors, we zeroed in on Hedera Hashgraph, which can be categorized sorry, as public permissioned DOT platform that addresses the shortcomings of public and private blockchain platforms. Read more on decentralized identity from YPRO. Now, the interesting thing about this, first off, I'm not going to undermine this overall use case because this is absolutely massive, but 
I do also want to talk to you guys a little bit about this. Now we do see here, I've worked directly with YPro on this problem in the past through Verizon. Asset ID alone will pump out a few hundred K transactions per second um, in the coming years. That's 8.6 billion transactions per day, 260 billion a month. Now, I just want to say right now, the only reason why the transactions on Hedera haven't, you know, pretty much updated the price overall or moved the price, I should say, is because it's at a very minimal fee. For an example, 8.6 billion transactions a day is significant because at the current transactional fee, which is at a fraction of a penny, that's about $860,000 a day. $860,000 a day is nothing to pretty much ignore, especially at the point that you know, at the end of the year, that's about $313.9 million just from one use case alone, which that would significantly move the price. Yes. Um, now, when we talk about multiple use cases doing that same volume, um, you know, we're talking about billions and billions and billions of dollars flowing over the Hedera mainnet. That's where we do see that massive um, influx of price valuation moving. Um, but we do see here, how soon could this go? He goes, I don't know, but they said they're running their Azure node uh, already sized for 100K transactions per second. This means they build their Azure uh, VM with uh, super horsepower. They're being, they're being built for this monthly on their Microsoft Enterprise Agreement. Ergo, if they're paying for it now, it must be soon. So I think that this is only a matter of time. Um, I think that, you know, at some point in time, we are going to really move in price, especially once uh, transactions are really ramping up. Not to mention sharding is going to be in place in quarter four, which that's going to be an absolute massive uh, innovation for HBAR and a lot of these use cases as well. Now, in terms of HBAR, we've talked about tokenization of the future as well, um, but this is all of the, the use cases on HBAR right now. We already talked about Dovu. We talked about Galaxy. We talked about Avery Denison, Alliance Block. We've talked about a lot of these especially even add um, ad stacks a core um, a lot of these are massive giants especially when we talk about their overall use cases and stuff like that um, they are doing crazy things there's like 80 plus use cases right now uh, that are being sort of utilized not all the way fully utilized because there's not a live uh, project with them or product um, but once we do see that that's going to be absolutely massive and I'm definitely going to be in the live webinar for August 26th um, for deploying drones at scale with Neuron and Hedera there's a lot of things happening behind closed doors um, I've talked about NDAs and stuff like that with Hedera so very significant things to look at now we also see the Hedera token service I've talked about tokenization in the future I'm not going to talk about this too much but this is without a smart contract again sort of invoking the idea that we will basically kill ADA at some point in time or just overscale it and overlap it in terms of overall market cap. Again, this kind of goes hand in hand as well with, you know, pretty much, you know, Hedera being an, an Ethereum killer too, which I do think and believe it is. Um, again, when we talk about that, look at how many payments, financial services, supply chain, energy and sustainability. Like this is so many use cases all packed in one um, project and it's just crazy to me we also see the consensus service API as well um, this is great to see as well look at all the enterprise grade use cases as well I mean this is gonna be an absolute giant in the making once all of this this stuff is actually being utilized and live um, it's only a matter of time and when we talk about that right we also have to talk about the price for it so a lot of people think that all because we haven't moved in price just yet um, is that it's pretty much a dead project and that it's not going to move for years. I tweet things and I, of course, I, I know a lot of people are just kind of like, you know, hating or just trying to like, you know, make you frustrated or anything like that. But when we talk about HBAR not moving, yeah, sure, it sucks. But we have been in consolidation for about like 155 days. Once we break out of that, it's going to be absolutely massive. So what? where could we really head to, right? So I've said that we could get to $10. Now, this is comparing Uniswap to HBAR, so don't kind of look at that. Um, we'll just kind of compare it to Cardano or ADA right now. So at Cardano's overall market cap, we'd be at about a $7.13 um, HBAR. Now, I believe that Cardano, at, the, at some point in time, um, let me actually go over here and look at ADA's overall all-time high just to confirm. One second. So, first off, ADA has 32.127 um, um, billion in circulating supply, which is more than us significantly. But our current all-time high, which happened this year alone, was about a $2.46 ADA. That's about $79 billion for the overall market cap. Now, I've done this before, as you guys probably know, 
but let's just do 79 billion flat so one second so at that price we would be at about an eight dollar and fifty cent overall price valuation for h bar now i personally think that we can get to ten dollars i've said it multiple times um and i will continue to say it uh now at ten dollars um we would basically be at so let's just go to ten dollars one second so at a ten dollar price evaluation um, we would be at a market cap of $93 billion, which I think is extremely undervalued still, first off, for what HBAR is doing. But I think that that's very probable, especially considering that that is a 43X. Now, once sharding and all that use case value is actually ramping up, um, let's talk about long-term targets, right? So if we had the market cap right now of Ethereum, because we do know that HBAR is an Ethereum killer, a lot of Ethereum... Um, products are actually moving over to HBAR to utilize HBAR instead of Ethereum due to efficiency and scalability. Um, let's look at this, right? A $38 HBAR at 165x overall in terms of its upside potential. That is absolutely massive. Now, I do think that this is highly probable, especially considering the fact that we do know how inefficient Ethereum is compared to HBAR. Now let's talk about Bitcoin, because I've already said that HBAR does have the power to replace Bitcoin for the number one spot. At Bitcoin's overall target, we would be at a $90 price evaluation. Now just think about how crazy that actually is, and I do think that we could see that by 2030 at least. Now, in terms of this, it all depends on... Um, overall utility factors, utilization factors, um, how much we scale, how we market it ourselves. Um, slow growth is totally fine with me. I don't really, I don't really care for slow growth all that much. Um, I'm totally fine with it. I'm totally patient. I'm okay with it. At you know, all together. Now, in terms of you know us getting to a hundred dollar um, H bar for an example, right? We'd still be under a trillion dollar market cap, which is extremely undervalued in my opinion still um but we also have to take into accountability that by that point we might have a little bit more in circulating supply say for so we double the circulating supply say for so we're at i don't know 18 billion right now at 18 billion now again we have to account for the idea that once we get to that point the market cap for bitcoin will be extremely different so if or so, we just go to $100 off of this. That's still only a $1.8 trillion market cap. And I think that that is extremely, you know, normal. I think that that is, you know, probable, especially in this market and especially with what HBAR is actually doing. So realistically speaking, I mean, would this surprise you? Because when I look at this, I think that this is highly probable. I think that this could happen. I'm, you know, 100% certain that this could happen, especially when we talk about long-term, long, um, you know, factors like that. Like, you know, when we talk about the utility and the u utilization of HBAR in the future, nobody really knows where the price could actually lead to. But I do understand and I do know that $1.8 trillion for an asset like HBAR that is ut being utilized by all these massive giants in multiple industries around the world connecting pretty much almost every industry to HBAR. And you know we're pretty much going to scale at a massive rate, especially when shorting and stuff like that in place. You know This is totally fine with me. $100 HBAR at a $1.8 trillion valuation with $18 billion in circulating supply, which, you know, realistically speaking, we won't even be at $18 um, billion because I think it's $260 million um, is released monthly, and that's only $3.12 um, billion uh, a, a year. Um, that's still very low. I mean, realistically speaking, yeah, in about five years or even four years, we'd be at pretty much a higher um, circulating supply. So it, it's hard to tell where we could actually land, but I do think somewhere between 50 and $100 for HBAR is highly probable within the next five to 10 years. Um, and I do think that we won't even have to wait that long, especially once utility is actually in place. And I do think that Bitcoin will be replaced at some point in time within the next nine years by 2030 at least. Um, now, I know, again, a lot of people don't want to wait nine years. That's totally fine. Um, if you guys don't want to wait nine years, hey, I do think we'll see at least a $10 um, H bar at some point in time very soon. 
and I think that it's only a matter of time before we get to the point of, you know, a ten dollar H bar, which is still sitting at a ninety three billion dollar market cap, easily achievable in my opinion. So with that being said, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, and turn notifications on. If you guys do have a price target yourself, comment it down below. Um, but nonetheless, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video, um, and I hope that you all have a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are in this beautiful world. This has been Nick. Peace out, guys.